So fibrin is a protein that your body naturally produces because you have this plastic tube inside of you. It may be rubbing against the insides of you causing inflammation, or maybe you got peritonitis that caused your whole cavity to become inflamed. So fibrin is being produced by your body to help your body out, but it's really not helping you out. Fibrin is very small and wispy. You may notice it in your drain bags when you're training with your PD nurse. A lot of people, when they first get their catheter, notice it. Um, but the more times you do your dialysis exchanges with PD, the more times you drain, those little bits of fibrin will drain right into your toilet or right into your bathtub. So you'll never even see fibrin. If you're doing exchanges and you're draining into a bag, maybe you'll see the fibrin in a bag as these small wispy things. But the more fibrin you make, the more those small wispy things collect and they become these huge things that just clog your catheter. Now they can get inside of your catheter and cause clogs um, or clots, fibrin clots, or they can even um, just kind of be in your cavity. And when your um, catheter is trying to drain that fluid out, it just blocks all the holes in your catheter because it's just too much and it's just like sludge and slime and it's just preventing that draining from happening. So you should be draining for 10 minutes, but you're draining for like an hour because you have too much fibrin. In rare cases, your catheter may have a fibrin sheath around it. So think of a sword and a sword going into its holder, its sheath. That fibrin could wrap around your catheter like that. It looks very gross, but it's very rare, but it can happen. So if your doctor and nurse did all the interventions and you're still having these crazy drain issues, then a surgeon may have to take a look to see if you have a fibrin sheath. So um, things to treat this, one is um, constantly doing exchanges. So constantly filling your abdomen and draining and filling and draining, that's called flushing. That's to get rid of as much fibrin as you can to drain it out. So don't skip your treatments because when you do your treatments, you actually drain it out as well. So flushing can help it. And um, there's a medicine that we give called cath flow or Alteplase. Um, we put this medicine inside of your transfer set. It goes inside of your catheter and it breaks apart that fibrin. So that's really good. I usually put that in patients, tell them let it dwell for at least six hours and then get on your treatment at night. Some nurses give it to the patients and say, let it dwell for an hour. And then they try to see if it's working. I usually just let it dwell for six hours and call it a day. Now, if this doesn't work and fibrin is your issue, but no one knows because the cath flow isn't working, you may have that fibrin sheath that we talked about, that sword example. That is very hard to get rid of. Medicine will not get rid of that. So if you've done all the interventions in the world, they did x-rays, you're not constipated, you don't have an enlarged prostate, it's not your position. They, you put heparin in every single one of your bags. I'm gonna talk about heparin later. You've been given cath flow and it's still an issue, you may have a fibrin sheet. So um, heparin is more of a prophylactic. Heparin um, will go inside of your dialysate bags and you'll have heparin in every bag for your dialysis exchanges that night. Heparin tells your body to stop producing fibrin as much, but if you already have fibrin, the heparin's not really doing anything for you except telling your body to stop making more fibrin. Um, some people use heparin every day. Some people use heparin uh, once a week. Some people use heparin once every two weeks if they see fibrin. So these are just some examples of the things that we can do if you have fibrin. Take care. Ciao.